Welcome to Trek Trav, Star Trek Enterprise Season 1, Sleeping Dogs. The Klingon episode that is a Klingon episode. Now, <laughs> I tried to watch this. I enjoyed... I, I enjoy it. It's just, it's just... I don't know, the Klingons in Enterprise are a bit weird. So, we get a really good thing of Hoshi learning to fire phasers at the beginning with, uh, with Malcolm we get some interesting uh, sort of looks around the ships and the crew. Then we go to, they get a signal from a planet. There's a ship stuck in the atmosphere. When they get down there, they discover that it's a Klingon ship. All the Klingons are incapacitated. Uh, the pressure from the atmosphere is crushing the ship slowly, so it will blow up. Uh, and they explore the ship. We get to see the real life uh, targs, which, which they're good for the early 2000s. Um, we get to see sort of an interior of the Klingon ship. I do find, I wish that they had changed the interior of the Klingon ships because Enterprise is so far before. It feels like they just like to reuse sets and that's sort of just, like did the Klingons just go stagnant? But like they did change the, the outfits they wore to a more sort of primitive look, but I wish that they had done that with the ships as well. Uh, we get Captain Archer, sort of trying to work out how to rescue them. Uh, T'Pol, Malcolm and Hoshi are on the ship and then their pod gets stolen by a female Klingon and she escapes and they're trapped on the ship as it's sinking with pressure. Uh, the Klingon does not get away, Enterprise catches it, they bring her on board and then it's a matter of convincing this Klingon that Actually, it wasn't Enterprise who sabotaged the Klingon ship. It was the fact you drank some shit and it made you all sick. Uh, this, and I think the Klingon woman, I don't know who the actress is, but the Klingon woman is really good. I think she looks powerful. She's strong. Uh, certainly the prettiest Klingon woman I've seen for a while. Um, but, uh, but there's that uh, distrust that she doesn't trust the humans. Uh, Archer tries using his experience with the Klingons from the past to uh, talk to her, but it doesn't really work because all he's done is sort of been an inconvenience for the Klingons, which is interesting. Uh, we get to, so Archer and T'Pol and Hoshi are sort of, there's no oxygen. They, they, they find out the blood wine, the ship's crushing. They decide to, if they launch torpedoes and explode them underneath the ship, it might push the ship up. Sinking. The shockwave dissipated before it reached us. We need to detonate one closer next time. The ship's hull is under enough pressure already. If you detonate a torpedo too close. And if I don't, we need to generate a large enough shockwave to push us into a higher orbit. To do that, the blast has to be big and it has to be close. Don't know how well this would work, but it also runs the risk of blowing up the ship. So they start doing this and Enterprise can track it as well. So they start doing this, do this. Archer on the Enterprise is trying to refit a shuttle so it can get down to them. So they're sort of meeting halfway. Uh, then I'm pretty sure they decide to take the Enterprise in. Uh, it's, it's overall with this episode, it's one of those episodes where I think it's trying to just sort of show the Klingons as being sort of one thing but the other. So eventually, after a lot of troubles and after igniting all of the torpedoes underneath the Klingon ship and pushing it right up and it doesn't blow up, even though the risk was there, uh, they get the Klingon ship out of the atmosphere, get it out, and then the Klingons want to attack because they want to die in honour of attack, not down in the planet's atmosphere. And Archer sort of goes, look, you guys are fucked. Your ship is bullshit. Uh, you just need to back off with what a little honor you have. And it, it was good to see Archer being tough. Uh, but I really, I really wish that there was a bit more to this story. I, and it's, it just seems to me that in season one, whenever they encounter the Klingons, it's like we're in inconvenience, but we conveniently don't fight each other, uh, which is fine. Um, I get it. I don't understand why we needed a Klingon episode, but I get that it's, once again, 24, 26 episodes a season. 
Uh, I think that Archer being tough was really good. I think Hoshi finding her space legs a little bit in this episode, or admitting that she's sort of, she's comfortable now, she's ready to go. I think that's really good for this episode. Uh, I think to Paul sort of taking a a guiding role with Hoshi was really good. I, thinking, I wish to Paul and Hoshi had developed a better friendship. You're in control. When we return to the ship, I'll teach you how to do it on your own. Thanks. Because um, they, they, Hoshi sort of gets relegated, but I think they would have worked really well together. They had great chemistry. Uh, I think Malcolm having a cold, as interesting as that is, is like, is that a character point? Do we, does he need to have a cold? Um, I, I, it's just, it's a, an episode which, and it's one of those reasons I kind of like shorter seasons. I don't think 10 episodes is long enough, but I don't think, I think 26 episodes is too much. I think a good amount of episodes is about 13 or 14. So you have enough room for the filler episodes and you also have enough room for the story episodes. And in terms of, in terms of the way this episode looks, it looks fantastic. Enterprise always looks fantastic. I think the, Kl the Klingon ship's my biggest disappointment because they, sh they redesigned the ship so it looks familiar, but also older, but inside it looks exactly like every other Klingon ship. Uh, I liked seeing the Targs. I like um, T'Pol talking about Klingon culture and explaining that they eat their food, they eat their food, blah, blah, blah. They eat their food alive uh, and there's a lot of sort of interesting nit bits in this episode. Uh, I certainly, it's not my favorite episode of the season, but it's certainly an interesting episode in this season. What did you think about Star Trek Enterprise Season 1 Sleeping Dogs? Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and be back next week for our next episode of Enterprise.